Ms. Steinkamp? Here. Mr. Little? Here. Mr. Phillips? Present. Mr. Sims? Here. Uh, we welcome our new board member, Mr. Hal McMillan. Here. Here. We've got uh, Mr. Clayton? Here. Mr. Bordelon? Here. You have a form. All right. Ooh, number one. Okay. Approval of minutes. So moved. And a motion and a second. All in favor of approving the minutes from the July 18th meeting say aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Okay. Ayes have it. Okay. Old business. Approval of reciprocal applicants. Number Yeah, we one. may want to take them individually because a couple have like missing bonds. Okay. okay. Number one, Brian Reagan. Yes, we are pending a bond on him, and I spoke with him this morning. It's on its way. Yeah, it's all. I do. Let's stick with this, and then we'll go on. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why, that's why I had a question. You, do you have a question? With that, you? I'm that, sorry. That, what's your question? That's what my question was. The procedures. We need to change the procedures. Because what we're doing, we're getting the, the, the uh, names without looking at the folks. Okay, we're going to finish the vote here. All in favor to pass this over. Are you opposed? Well, no, I, was, I thought you were at the question. What? Mm -hmm. I thought well, you were at the question. I thought you had got No, we called the vote. Okay, after the second is when you have a question. Okay, I thought you had already got that. We had the second. So after the second, if you have a question, that's, or anything, that's where it comes up. Well, they had already voted. Correct. And I said I have a question. After the second, you have a question, right? Okay. And so but that's I why I don't understand the question. They have to do one more season. The folder before yeah. we have to approve it. Well, no, I asked for the folder when she called the first recipient out. I was just reviewing it, and y'all went on with the meeting. Oh, I, okay, Freddie, we're going to come back to this. Let's finish this item up right here. Are you opposed? Everybody else voted yes. Are you opposed? No, I'm not opposed. Okay, all in favor? To be their Louisiana auctioneer in the state. They have auctioneered every state except Louisiana, but nobody take them for this reason. They're said cat owned equipment by cat owned auctioneer with a reserve on it so damn high they'll never sell it. They were told and recommended them by this Taylor to do a tag auction instead of a live auction. They did that, and they went to Shreveport, and they had a Louisiana auctioneer with them, and they did do a sale, and they did not do it with cash. They didn't? No. They, what they done, they carried the less value cat equipment they knew they could sell out there, and so did the same thing in that year, about a month ago. Who's the auctioneer? I don't remember who it was. It was somebody from Shreveport. Dusty told me who it was, Adam, but he didn't speak. I want to talk to Dusty, because I'm the one to talk to. Yeah. But anyhow, I'm just bringing this before the board. I'm not saying they lied, but they misrepresented the same, which they shouldn't have done. They should have, because I got the call as soon as the advertisement hit. I got one in my mailbox, and they didn't, they didn't even have a chance to look at it when I got a telephone call about them not being live from the channel over here. Well, I immediately called out, and they picked Cecil Brown to do that sale and let it hit. Yeah. And as far as I know, all the equipment sold from what Cecil told me. Matter of fact, they sold all the equipment and they put it all back together and Hillcrest and Alexander bought the whole bit. And one, so they just wasted a bunch of folks' time. But that's all I want, I want to <coughs> that out so everybody know what's going on with these people. And I did speak to them. I don't know, you know, what the records show of that auction. I did speak with the gentleman from Cat Auction Services, after being advised from Anna that all of the items to be sold had to be consigned to Mr. Brown, and that Mr. Brown was the one who was responsible for the escrow account, handling all of the money and everything. I even had phone conversations with them about, well, could they open a an escrow account and be on the account with the auctioneer? And they were told, no, they cannot. That's the same as you handling the money. Correct. So yes, there was a lot of back and forth communication with this office. I don't know what the end result is of how that auction occurred. Well, it was my understanding that, that that's actually everything what happened. was straight up. Cecil handled all the money. Cecil yeah. paid the bill. Cecil they consigned it. it all. And I mean, yeah. you know, Cecil Brown told me he'd done it. His work's good enough for me. 
but I've known these people about But you're saying years. there was a second one that was done in Shreveport? Yeah, well, this was done several years ago. Oh, that's oh. all. Not, okay. Nothing recent. No, okay. This was done several years ago, and it was done legally, but it was it was not cat auctions per se back then. They right. were trying to this is relatively just was incubated, and whoever, whatever auctioneer did it. Matter of fact, I think he did. I'm not going to swear to it. Let me ask a question. But anyhow, they did it at the fairgrounds. And they sold all the equipment. This auctioneer handled all the money, collected all the taxes, whatever. So, I mean, it was, it was looked into right after they did it. I, I wasn't even aware it was done. But Dustin told me. I see you, Frank. No, I'm, I'm, I'm impatient. I mean, I don't have a problem with getting it. Lots of I mean, it's just a business life. They mess it up, and they always put it. Are you have a question? Yeah. Uh, in the process of gathering all the information, uh, you know, I mean, I heard what Mr. Sims said concerning the company's approach to become scrape. Uh, I think once before in the board meeting, we mentioned something about auctioneer companies coming down. I think this may have been the case with the guy on the in the city of Kent, where uh, I don't use the term loan this license or took over the auction for that company so that they can conduct it, take it all full responsibilities and things of that magnitude. Mm -hmm. I thought we had made mention of something about that once before. About and, how and this was not a limited license. This was specifically not going to be one, and I told them they could not do it that but, way. Uh, but, but, if Mr. Brown actually handled the wholesale, it was consigned, to, the equipment was consigned to him. Yes. And he sold it that way. That's not what happened in the other day. Okay. Well, no, that's what I'm saying, because I know we had mentioned something about that. Right. That, that, no, that's, know. loaning your license is still a violation of our statute yeah. and uh, could be, could result in discipline on your license. Yeah, and that's what I think, we, you know, in cases like this, we may want to look into it. Uh, you know, behind the, behind the scenes, you don't know what it's saying, and I know you can go through the legal process with, you know, doing it the right way with, with the wrong intent. You know. All we got to do is send an investigator to the mm -hmm. trail. That's all we got to do. Mm -hmm. But you talked to him, so you. Well, I mean, I, I, I mean, I know because I talked to one of the guys who went down there to the cat sale, and that's how I knew they, they sold all the individual, then they lumped it together, and then sold it all. Uh, but I was just kind of concerned about, you know, out of state companies that have not gotten the business yet attempting to do business in the state. Right. But, but if they're, not, they're not actually the ones doing the business, then we don't have that issue. Any other discussion? I have a question. Sure. You said you had you were going to check in on some stuff. I mean, do you, are there some are there questions no, was, in your mind about this? Uh, no. What he was saying about this other auction, I thought it happened recently. Yeah. It happened three years ago. So that was years ago. Yeah. Okay. So that's not that's no longer an issue. What about it? It's a fraction. You're right. Mr. Sims' uh, current position mm -hmm. and uh, proposed elected position. Mr. Mr. Phillips is a board member, and he can request an attorney general's opinion on that himself. He don't need us to do that. Well, I think the board might be one to consider that as well. Okay. That's well, why I brought it for the board. That will let the board decide. Okay, but right now we have um, any heard. other discussion? I want to. What, you're a member of what? I am president of the Louisiana Auctioneers Association. It has nothing to do with this board. Mm -hmm. Period. Paragraph. That association can do anything it wants to as long as it's done through a not through a resolution process. All the president does is mediate the deal. The deal is passed by its members and attested by its secretary of treasury, which I'm not. No, my, my, my comment wasn't referring to that. And another personal against you, and I said that in also. I'm just saying because of the trade association. It has nothing to do with the okay, board trade. Okay. But I'm just saying it seems I wasn't directly to you. I understand, but I'm just saying it doesn't have anything to do with this board. But again, Mr. Sims, I'm not directing this to you. Okay, guys. Right. I'm not saying Do you no. have another comment? But, but my comment was in reference to that again. You know, that I think uh, just through the past, what I saw transpire is something that we may need to consider. Whether or not there would be any influence on. Uh, or at that position and at that level position. Well, my comment is, is what I'm hearing, he'd like an attorney to general's opinion. And the attorney, our attorney said that he could give one by himself Correct. and he said he'd like a board opinion. After we vote on these items, he could make that motion Correct. on the floor if he gets a motion in a second. 
uh, then that, that could move forward if this board sees fit. But right now, the one issue on the table after, at hand is uh, the election of the vice chair. After the discussion here, I'm going to close the nominations and we're going to vote. Uh, just, just one correction. We could not add it to the agenda. You cannot okay. add an agenda to either right. under open meetings law. At the, in the middle of a report. We can actually put it on the agenda for the next meeting. Sure. If that's what you want to do. That would be up to the board. Any other comments? Discussion? Okay, I'm going to close the nominations. We do have a motion to close. A motion. A motion to close nominations. And you need a motion second to close nominations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do I have a motion to close it? I'll make a motion to close second. nominations. Second. Mr. Schuster. All in favor to close the nominations, say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Ayes have. It. Okay, so we have a nomination up. You nominate Mr. Sims. We have a second. Yes. Yeah, um, how, do, how do we vote on that? Well, we don't have a, uh, again, I want to, to stress that, that it's for nominations, uh, you don't need a second. And if the board is saying that we do, then I, I would like to, uh, to see that particular okay. procedure in Rainbow. Mm -hmm. And you have we'll a, just do a vote. vote. Well, it's the same because it's a nomination vote. process. So right. Vote. So we don't need a second. We're just okay. going to vote. Because I mean, you were asking. You said the second. If you look to the attorney for guidelines, so I'm just trying to see why we're we doing that when the nomination, then the two nominees, whatever statement they're going to make uh, for their selling pitch or whatever, normally comes after that. Correct. No. Mm -hmm. You could do that. As far down the chair wants to do it, you could handle that on that behalf. Then you take the two names and you do a roll call vote around the table as you put. That's what I was going to do. A roll call. Sims and, and uh, Mr. Phillips do a roll call vote on which way they will go, and then the winner of that vote. And, but you can't chair. give each one of the nominees time if they want to say something on their behalf. I don't, you don't want to no, say anything, Freddie? Do you want to say anything? Yes, I would. I, my name is Freddie Phillips, and I've been on this board since 2008. Uh, April 2008 to be exact, and, and next to you, uh, Ms. Steinkamp, I'm second seniority on this board and a licensed auctioneer in good standing with this, within this state. Uh, I've dealt with a lot of the issues that have, uh, came before this board and been an advocacy of what was considered to be, in my opinion, the right thing to do. So that's why I feel that I should be uh, elected vice chairman of the Louisiana Auction License Board as of 9-19-2011. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. Okay, so I'm going to um, pull the board. Mr. Bordelon. Uh, Mr. Sims. Mr. Brister. Mr. Sims. Mr. McMillan. Sim. I guess, do Mr. Sims and Mr. Phillips have a vote? Yes. 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 Mr. Sims, who would you like to vote for? Sims. Mr. Phillips, who would you like to vote for? Phillips. Mr. Little. Sims. Yeah. A vote of one, two, three, four, five, six to one in favor of Mr. Sims. Mr. Sims, who's the vice chairman? Okay, approval of financials. Number one. Well, let's do the financials first. Number one. You want to talk about it first? Okay, let's, we'll do number one first. The budget amendment to pay the 2008 approved bill. Well, I thought you were going to go. Excuse me? I thought you just said you want to do the financials first. No, we're going to do the budget amendment yeah, first because, because we'll, we'll need to do that first so yeah. we can amend the budget. You know, it, it has to go that way. You going to do the Freddie's deal? Yes, that's number one. The budget amendment to pay. I'm on. I'm going to make a motion to approve Freddie's payment. Yeah. Under these circumstances, he gets daily per diem, lowest paid airfare at the time of the trip. And that is that is in the Louisiana statute. If there's a cheaper airfare rate out there for round trip, that's what you have to use instead of mileage. I'll make it that motion for that there. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Discussion. The only thing is, can you find that in 08? That was in 2000. Can you find that dollar amount in 08? Yeah. You can't. Actually, yeah. actually, actually, I can't believe it or not. Thank you, Internet. Oh, I, I, really? checked, I checked before I made the motion. Mm -hmm. I want to be fair to Freddie, but I want to be fair to the board. That's why I made the motion out of way. Okay. <coughs> you have a vote? Yes. 
I have a, um, a letter from the Division of Administration explaining how to calculate out that um, travel. And it says that um, with respect to travel reimbursement, when an authorized traveler does not obtain an itinerary prior to the trip, the state purchasing and travel offers procedures for reimbursement is as follows. The traveler contacts, or the agency, contacts the travel agency under contract to obtain the lowest logical quote at least 14 days out. The quote should show the departure and return dates to be on the exact days of the week the traveler departed to and returned from the event. Once obtained, the traveler may receive mileage reimbursement up to the cost of the lowest logical airfare. So what I did was with um, guidance or direction from Ms. Steinkamp, on three different occasions I went into the state travel website and pretended that I was booking travel for Mr. Phillips, always at least 14 days out. And I came back with um, quotes on three different days. And when you average out the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different airfares we could choose from, it calculates out the average airfare would be $270. So according to <coughs> the Division of Administration, whose travel policy we follow, his reimbursement would be $270 for his airfare. Does that fit with your motion? Keep it down there. Okay. I mean, I can't argue with the division of administration. I mean, that's who we're using. Any other discussion? I got a couple. Yes. Sure. Uh, one, I was, what, what were you asking for? What were you showing as a reimbursement? I didn't see that. That's okay. I've got it. Yeah, you can show If you don't have it. Um, Mr. Phillips submitted a total of 1,178 miles, which would be over $600 in mileage, and per diem of four days. So a grand total of $988.78. And that's, that's the only question I had at this point. I got others, but go ahead. Well, my, my question was, because I mean, at the end of the day, I, I actually drove, and I, in the past, I also checked where you know, that there were other people who would pay their actual mileage. But I also brought up before the Board of Enabling Stature that what we had in place that would, uh, that would uh, circumvent what the Division of Administration put in place because we have an enabling statute that allows me to collect the actual mileage. And that's what I thought the Board would have resorted to uh, instead of going with that, that policy of the cheapest airfare because we have a statute in place. And that's we why have a legal statute and yeah, we have a policy. policy. No, we have an enabling statute. Uh, yeah. It says actual expenses are to be paid. Actual um, expenses? Actual expenses. Is that on yeah. rule list, correct? No. It's, it's my opinion that actual expenses means actual expenses. Um, basically, um, the travel regs interpret what expenses are. And as I understand it, uh, and the board is welcome to ask for Attorney General's opinion if they feel uh, so inclined, that from other cases I've looked at, that basically you're looking either at the travel regs or you're saying actual expenses would be to reimburse him for his actual costs. Uh, the board uh, statute was written that way because uh, at one time, and I think it's so true, if you wanted to get hotel expenses paid or other expenses paid, the reimbursement you would get through the travel regs was less than your actual out-of-pocket costs. Mr. Sams? Brady. I got to ask this, and I'm not trying to be interrogatory, but I've got to ask this. Why do you wait this long to file for this? It's three years old. Well, I that's... mean, it, it's not this... I want you to know, I wrestled this law in the court and came to the conclusion that you deserve it, you need it. But, normally you don't get paid for something. I don't care where it is, corporate business, public bodies, after, after a year of the budget year, you don't get paid for this. Well, that's what, that was the reason why I was late. I uh, requested some information to substantiate the proposals and a lot of things transpired that prevented this from happening. So it wasn't on my, I need records to validate that I was the only one being singled out. You would, I'm not picking on you, you know, but I'm just, 
I'm trying to do what's right. I understand that. I respect that. And, you know, I, 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 you answered my question. I was just curious why it was this late being done. And I, and I don't have a problem with being paid. I don't have a problem with being paid what you vouched. But I got a problem when I go in and I find a statute that says the division administration rules all state government agencies and boards. But we also have the enabling well, statute. Well, I wasn't aware of this. Other and that's why I brought it to the board yet. before Mr. Sims and, and made that clear to the board. And I thought the board at that point should have ruled in the enabling statute. Saying, and that's what I'm asking that the board would consider because it's, 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 it's in place. Now, you know, you're talking. What are you going to do, Tessa? You're well, talking. Okay. Keep it open for discussion until it's over. Greg had a question. Yeah. Is this what your lawsuit against this board is about? About this That's correct. Is that that, what that's what took the longest. So immediately. that means the lawsuit would be dropped if they Well, the lawsuit, you? When, when I got the information, I pulled it in myself. So that's why we went forward and proceeding with what was going on. Okay. You got the question. Kyle, we have, I'm yeah, I was in front of you. No, I think really my number one thing, too, was the time factor. I, I hope this our next agenda, maybe we can implement a time factor of timely uh, reimbursements of, of uh, expenses. Maybe put either a six month period or three month period if it's not paid off by that, that period of time. State travel says 30 days. 30, 30 days now. It's, it's so a policy though, it's not a restriction. Yes. With the lawsuit being pending in the time uh, that it's taken with this, I want to start fresh. I want to be on this board moving forward. Uh, if we pay this thing, well, does that lawsuit drop? Is that the, the lawsuit, question? as I understand it, is gone. It's already gone. It's gone. But really, uh, the hardship, the time, and the factors that uh, maybe we move fresh with this. Didn't mean it to. Well, it's your motion. I can't amend your motion. But if you change your motion, uh, I, I would have probably, I would probably vote with it. But I, just in, in discussion, uh, what was the total one more time? A thousand what? Uh, $988.78. Does that coincide with what you're saying? Yes, sir. That's my particular, that's the actual. That's so that total. Because you drove. Yes, because I drove. Because I drove. And then we, <laughs> we learned a good lesson from this. And then we move forward. Sometimes you you have to go ahead and, and, and take a little bit of a lick and, and move forward in a very positive way. But I, I think it would show goodwill on behalf of this I board to it. work with our fellow commissioner and, and uh, move forward with that. Let me ask a question. Sure. Did another board approve his expense? Yes. Yes. All right, my motion is this. Wait for it. Have one well, more discussion and then you can well, I, I want to withdraw this motion. Okay. Just finish the discussion for one second. Robert, you have a question. Well, the only thing I was going to point out, Mr. I already did so. The the suit was dismissed some time ago. Okay. Uh, and technically was not related directly to this. Okay. That is correct. You're, you're Correct on that, but since I was hearing several, you know, at least two board members apparently had the perception the suit was still alive. I wanted to make sure it was clarified okay. that it's. Well, it was on that handout. Yeah, that's where I would. Uh, okay, so that's it. Mr. Sims, you want to amend? I want to amend the last motion. And I want to make the following motion. It's ready to finish. We need to have a second. Your second. Motion. I got to make the motion first, Dan. To rescind it. To rescind it. To rescind it. Did the second. Okay. Motions are sent. Mm -hmm. no. okay. Motions are sent. Make your new motion. The new motion is to pay Freddie Phillips $988. That's great. Total. That even cents. money. That's even right. money, senior? 78 cents. And 78 cents mm -hmm. for his attendance to the 2008 NAA convention held in Nashville, Tennessee, and whatever dates they were, paid in full. Do you have a second? I'll second it. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I have it. Okay, approval of financials. Go back to that now, yes, and now what we need to do with the financials, and I don't know if it's a mute point now, but if you wanted a copy of the letter from the Division of Administration. And and I want to make it clear that we have not, and as I understand, we have not waived. Waived what? 
the rules, the division rules. They're waived because the previous board has done three pave, and that's why I voted. That's why I changed my vote. Well, you're saying for all future no, purposes? Just for this one. Just for this one. Okay. Yeah. Just for this one. We're going to get into that at the end of the meeting when we go back up and get for next month. Okay. Okay, so Cindy, anything you need to report right. on that? Yeah, the Financial. only thing that we need to do is, um, I believe, in order to pay Mr. Phillips, I believe that um, I've allocated enough money in um, for GAM. We may have to look at that one at the end of the year. But um, as far as out-of-state travel, <laughs> the budget shows only the convention that happened this year. So what we would need to do is to pay him the... Uh, Six hundred so dollars in mileage, we would have to add some additional funds to the budget line of out of state, which is OS travel and lodging, mm -hmm. of say six hundred dollars. Yeah, six hundred dollars, and um, that can be moved from um, capital outlay, which currently has six thousand eight hundred and seventy dollars in it. Um, potentially some other places as well. That's just an easy place to move it from, which is where all of the surplus, if you want to say, went. Just so that when I pay Mr. Phillips, it doesn't make us exceed our... Well, you don't have to adjust this budget to it, do you? I mean, this is... So you need a motion to do that? That's yes. what I'm asking? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll make a motion to take it out of capital outlay to pay uh, the expenses that we... The nine hundred eighty-eight dollars and seventy-eight cents. Well, 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 we got another item on the agenda. It's going to take some of that. Do I have a second? I second. Discussion. This is what just this. We still building financials, correct? Yes. This is just to move the money for your. Okay. You probably need to move the money so you can get paid. Right. <laughs> Since it's about him, it probably he'd probably ought to refuse yourself. You'll yes. need to refuse yourself yeah. from the. Well, I'll, I'll send the vote. Yeah. yeah. So somebody else needs to second. I, have, I need another second. I'll second. All right, I have a second. Anybody has a question about this? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Uh, Opposed? Uh, Ayes have it. Sandy, you'll take care of moving the money. And in, in reality, yes. the last vote on the expenditure paying the expense, he should have recused himself on that one, too. That's theoretically correct. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll get that. So that's the records of like that. Yeah. 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 You know, let the record look like that uh, Freddie refused on that. Yes. Okay. And you want to continue, Cindy, with your report? Other than that, yeah, I don't really, I mean, it's still pretty early on in the year. I don't really have any comments about the budget. I mean, it's there. I mean, some money's come in, but obviously not until renewal season. Do we have a motion to approve the financials? So moved. Second. Any discussion? I'd like to discuss yeah, uh, This really for the new board members, but uh, again, when I came on this board, about the, probably the same time, or right after Freddie, uh, we were definitely in the red here, big time. And every board I've ever been on, when, I, when the board's in the red, we got to make decisions and, and get it back in the black. And, one of the things that we did was uh, we, uh, and much to the light of every auctioneer I know, we got rid of continuing education uh, because this board was paying for it through the state and it was our biggest expenditure. And uh, since we've gotten rid of it, we've updated our, our website with all the new rules so people can go to it and see it and stuff like that. But I... Uh, I have never had a person yet, an auctioneer, other than this lady that did the magazine for the, for the state auctioneer board. I don't know if it's the same one Mr. Sims is president of. But anyway, everybody has told me, said that was the best thing that we could have done was get rid of continuing education because it's not brain surgery like Mr. Johnny Gwynn said. And uh, anyway, I just want to make those comments. Anyone else? Yes. We have a lot of expenses. The rent and then board meeting expenses. Now, the rent, the move, I didn't see any of that into this particular budget. 
the rent didn't change. Did the it? rent didn't change, and as we've discussed in previous meetings, this board incurred no expense in moving because the landlord at our old building had to pay for all of the expenses, including our telephone hookups. No, I'm talking about the expense for the building itself. There is none. The rent all we pay changed. is rent. It's exactly the same as what was paid previously. And he moved us. So we're, we're, we're sole possessors of this building? Renting. We rent it. Yeah. No, I'm talking about sole. Or we're on the board in here. No, no. no. The washout the rent's the same as we were paying over yonder. There's no, no, no increase, change. no decrease. No, I'm, 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 I'm asked what we don't want the board in here. The door, the front door sign says auctioneer is Anderson. Yeah. 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 In particular, this room and the board room itself, board building itself. How's that? How's that calculated? Each board, the only the yeah. only thing that the state would approve with a relocation is for the boards to pay no more than what they were paying previously, and get no less square footage than they had previously. So the leases were configured in a way in this building to exactly match what both boards were paying prior at Sumo Court. Okay, so let me just make sure I got this correctly. So we we did we just moved to a different location and carried over the expenses that we had in each board exactly stayed exactly the where they were. Correct. In percentage wise, I'm assuming. Dollar for dollar, exactly the same. Okay. Uh, have the state would not have allowed anything else. Okay. What's your other question? Uh, in reference to the, the particular building itself. Because, um, I mean, I was just trying to figure out, I know uh, we're leasing from the same guy who sold the building over there. Was the board aware of that? Referring. Let me say I know, I know. Tell me. We're going to talk about the But this is financial. This is what I'm saying. It's financial. I'm still in the financial point. Okay. So what's, because your, it's point? what's your question? Oh, the, we're leasing from the same person who sold the building for what does that have to do about the that's financial, financial because it has to well, deal that's with what the rent. I'm trying to ask it has to deal with the rent we still the rent has not changed but it's still dealing with financials okay. the, the owner of this building is the same person that sold the building over there what do you mean sold the, the, the leasing agent it makes all the difference in the world what well, i don't know i don't follow you please the, the, the leasing agent who had the listing over there is also the owner right. of this building. That has nothing to do with that the financials. That has to do with the and Or the what? financials. I don't know if it has nothing to do with it. I'm not sure this has to be true either. Well, okay. no, I'm making this. Okay. Well, if no, I'm out, it, guys. It, hold on one second. Time. Excuse me, one at a time. Well, I've had the floor, right? Right, and everybody's interrupting, but we're, I'm trying to ask you while you have the floor. We're on financials, and we're going to stick to the agenda. So I am dealing with financials. I'm discussing. Yes. The rent has not changed. So what is the question? It's still dealing with financials. The ownership of this building has nothing to do with our financials. Uh, yes, it does. No, it does. It does not. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I asked a very important question, and I also called you and asked about two agenda items being placed on here in reference to this. And in reference to this, I mean, I'm going to seek an attorney general's opinion as well in, in light of this, and I'll ask the board to consider also, because I ask that certain things be added to the agenda. Well, you got the floor. Tell us what you Tell want. Tell us what you want. Well, because here, here's the lease, uh, and it says right here, registered agent, Mr. Chuck Mock. Did you see that? Mm, yeah. I got a question. What's the problem? Well, I got a question. I, I see okay. that. I'm, here, here's I'm the principle. But let me let, let me let me let me let me finish uh, first because that, let me clarify. Please do. Uh, the leasing agent is also the owner of this building, who also was the leasing agent, uh, the, the the person over the real estate handling trans uh, transaction over there. <laughs> Miss Allen, you can see this as well. So, well, well, well so is not adequate. But I mean, what's, what, what so what's, saying, what's your point? I well, think that's we're, we're point. leasing from the same person who sold uh, sold the building out from over there. And I, I just want to know whether or not the board was aware of that. Miss mm -hmm. Dow? I think Bo Box was the company that sold. Bo Box was, was the, the company. The, the, the agent. agent. <coughs> and I'm not sure what company actually owns. Do we have a landlord's name? It's, it's right here. But right. he, they paid for everything. It's been approved so. by the state. Well, no, I mean, I think no, this is something that we have to look at. Newcastle Properties LLC, which is not the agent. Now, Mr. Mock, 
basically is a member of Newcastle uh, Properties and an officer. And he was one of the agents on the other property. Correct. I'm not sure. He was the, the, the listing agent of the property. And, and I'm not, still not sure what the issue is. Well, I'm just, I mean, we're, we're, reading, we're renting a uh, leasing from the same agent. No, we're so, listing from Newcastle Properties. Yeah, Mr. Mock is an owner of Newcastle. We one lost the other. The other yeah. We lost the other building that we were supposed to go in. Correct. And then we come into this one. Right. It was it was declined by the state, state because of uh, I understand that. Asbestos. I'm not arguing that the safety of our move. I'm just stating the facts that uh, was the board aware are, of Mr. Mock. Are you alleging that Mr. Mock has done something inappropriate? I'm, I'm not alleging. That's why I'm gonna seek attorney general opinion and ask the board to do the same. But what's the question? The lease for this building was approved by facility leasing. So if you're if you're wondering, did I make the decision? No, ma'am, I didn't say that. The, the state is already no one person this and approved it. That's what she said. The state approves it. Okay. Well, I, I, because it seems like it's a, a conflict of interest that we'll be in the same building that is owned by the guy who sold the building that we had to move out of. And the state leasing office is well aware of who owns this building because they were in communication. Well, he's with. on here as a witness and not as a uh, owner. Well, Freddie, I'm still confused by the question, and I think that's why it didn't get on the agenda because I didn't understand what it was, and I tried no. to explain it. I, don't I, don't it. I tried to explain it to Anna, and she couldn't understand. I, I still, what, I'm not sure. Well, I, I, don't understand asked, you, I asked you for the, the, the agenda item to move be on there and I ask you also. Well, I don't understand what the agenda item is. That I still don't agenda? understand what the agenda item oh, okay, is okay. that you Different want call. to put on, that you wanted to put on. I, I don't understand it and that. I don't understand yeah, the she question. Had. Oh, okay. Do you have the signatures on that? I don't, I don't know. 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 This is all done by state guidelines. It don't matter. Ninety percent of the damn state property rented in Baton Rouge is owned by the same group of people. What does that have to do with? Well, what does it have to do with this? Well, I mean, I was, I, I, we sitting here wasting time. We well, sitting here wasting time. Well, no, we're not we got time. an agenda move because of two two people own the same bill. Well, no, sir. I don't think that's my concerns. Were from the offset, we were supposed to be moving to another bill. Well, okay. we could have, with the, with the amount of surplus inventory uh, funds we have available, we could have called the emergency meetings and before we made uh, another decision concerning the next move that we want to make. She didn't give an address. No, I'm just saying, though, but we're sitting in here, and I'm assuming none of you all were aware of of any of this information prior I was to. aware of it. I, we were told at the last meeting that the state was doing an inspection of that building. No, we were not told. Me. Yes, we were, yes, Fred. We were. You yeah. were not paying attention. Yes, we were. We were that we would be notified of the new location. But no, we were not. We were not told that. Okay. We were told no, the only thing. That's what we were told. Well, here's the thing. Listen up. Okay, I don't have a problem with that. You didn't hear it. I heard it. So every board member here is saying that we were told that the state was reviewing asbestos over at the other building. They didn't say asbestos. They said they were doing a building inspection and pending the outcome of that inspection would be whether we would move there or not. Well, or I thought we were told that the only thing was holding us up from moving was the electrolysis, mm -hmm. no. the electrolysis board. Well, we'll go back and look at the records. But I know what I heard. But I'm still confused. Well, it's not a confusion. We'll move on. But this board has already made its decision. My concerns were when this took place that the board should have been notified immediately and determined what course of action we were going to take. And that's what we're supposed to be doing here as a board. Not if it's revenue neutral. Right. Well, why is it not? So, not if it's revenue neutral. What, There's no decision to make. Well, I, Mr. Uh, okay. uh, McMillan just said, you know, he would like to be informed of various things that take place. I knew about to. it. I didn't know about it. Anybody else know about it? Anybody else? I just make a suggestion. Turn into the uh, state attorney general what you got. Mm -hmm. 
If there's something to it, they'll get to the bottom of it. Okay, well, I thank you very much. W would you suggest that the board look into it? Well, I mean, I don't really, I think no. I'm fine. But if you have a problem, turn it okay. in. Well, I, just, I, I brought it before the board, and I felt the board should at least yeah. give it some consideration. No, I, I personally, I I'm okay with the way things are. Okay, I, I rest my case. Okay, Robert, you have a question or a comment? Well, yeah, I'm, I guess it would be a question. Uh, the gross amount of the lease is nine hundred and sixty dollars. Uh, the allocation of square feet is two hundred and thirty-four feet to the Interior Design Board, five hundred seventy-two feet to the Auctioneer's Licensing Board. So clearly, and the lease payments being six sixty and three hundred respectively, uh, clearly it is the LALB who is subsidizing the Interior Design Board for the use of the room we are presently sitting in. Uh, you know. If you're saying the state said it had to be that way, then I guess we have to subsidize them. Then when they have their meetings, we have to permit them to use the building for to use the room we're sitting in now for free. If that's the case, then so be it. But uh, I think it needs to be. I mean, 234 square feet. I mean, clearly this room exceeds that. So there's no way this is what. The, there's no way that this is the room that the Interior Design Board is leasing. So uh, I don't think there's any question that the LALB is subsidizing the Interior Design Board for its meetings, and if they're fine with that, that's no problem. Okay. No question? Well, I, I, is the board aware that that is what's happening? Can that you provide some one background? Let me Robert, how many state agencies do you know that work together or do not work together? That's uh, Mr. Sims, and I'll be informal with you. I don't know, uh, I don't know if you like Jim or James, so. But Mr. Sims, uh, if if the board's fine with it, I'm a, I'm just I have no. If, all, all I'm saying, I don't have a problem. With well, that's all. I, that's all there the is. Thing, just, the only thing I got, I'm gonna say about it is this: I've never known one state agency charge another one for something else. And I mean, I've I've been all over boards all over the state all for the last 35 years, and this is the first time I've ever heard that. Well, Mr. Mr. Boyle in, in the prior meeting stated that we split the costs on the, the the tables and chairs and it was said that you know the state of this board and with that other board not coming together and that's what I felt should have gone in here if the interior design board and other board that occupies this building with us is going to also use the facility then it should have went straight down the middle and and and, and been what it should have been well, if you said that a long time ago, <laughs> we could have got to now, that. Well, no. If I can answer to that, I, I would love, I'd love to just give you some information. The situation that both boards were in and being asked to move, the only lease that the state would have approved is an exact dollar for dollar and no less square footage than what was in Summa Court. Your comment earlier about an emergency meeting to you know allocate additional funds towards the lease, the state would not have approved additional. What would what they would have done is they would have approved additional, except that um, the owner of Summa Court would to have had to have had to have paid the additional month to month rent until the end of our lease. Um, but the state was very not supportive of that at all. They wanted a exact dollar for dollar match and they wanted no less square footage <coughs> than before. So when you take <coughs> how much square footage each board had and you translate it over here, we got a little more square footage than adding the two together and they're both still paying the same dollar amount. So it was a win-win for both boards. And even with the, the, the short <coughs> furniture and everything else, well, it was decided at a previous meeting that the other board would pay for half of these chairs in order to use your table. It was decided. I thought you said you had to take that back and get their approval. And they approved it. Okay. Robert, you have another question before we move on? Well, uh, yeah, I'd like to pose the question that suppose a facility had not been available that said you couldn't go up, then where would that have left us? I mean, I'd like to see something in writing that said the state emphatically said that this cannot be increased because we're, this is not, well, okay, if it exists, handle then produce it, you know? I mean, yeah. um, I, and I still make the assertion that this board is subsidizing the other board. There's no question about it. If they're, if they're good with it, then, you know, these are the board members, and if they're good with it, that's good. I don't have a problem with it myself. But, you know, 
There is no question this board is subsidizing the other board for this meeting facility. Okay, any other comments? Then we're going to go and have the vote on approving the financials. Does anybody? We already have the first Right, I have a second. motion from Jim followed by Clayton. The second, okay. What is the motion? To approve the financials since we made the adjustment. With the amendment, because it's already been approved. That's it's already been done. Okay, all in favor of approving the financials? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> all right. Financials are approved. Number three. This is already did the budget amendment. Attorney report and investigative report. Okay. Turn this over to Anna for this. Okay. Uh, a couple of things. First of all, uh, we are probably going to have a hearing next time. Um, let me tell you where we are on the Kathleen Sue White matter. We discussed that last board meeting uh, at the board's request. She had not responded to a subpoena, so I had her personally served with it. Um, she was served and she did respond. Her response to a subpoena which asked for certain records for a specific auction in March of this year she responded by giving us records from one individual and with a letter that says she knew that this is the guy who filed the complaint and these were the records for this one guy which is not what was requested we had not had a complaint filed by this gentleman um it was simply her attempt and you know to some extent to get around actually responding to the subpoena uh, I have sent her a notice of non-compliance, which, as you know, in licensing is required before we take any further action. That's under Section 961 of the Administrative Procedure Act. And um, what, did, what was the section again? 961 of the Administrative Procedure Act. It's the one we've been using yes. since 2000. Yes. For, yeah. um, and we have not received, as of this date, a response. It has been more than 15 days. Um, I would like to know the board's pleasure with regard to having a hearing on this matter for a failure to respond to the board's subpoena. Uh, it's, yes, Kathleen White, I think is her official name. White. 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 Like the color. Yeah, she's a star. 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 Yeah. Star. Louisiana. This is the Calcasieu Parish. So you want to set the hearing for the next meeting? I was wanting to set the hearing for the next meeting, but it's all right for the board to do so. I don't have a specific complaint against her. The problem is that she is simply not responding uh, to requests from the board uh, that the board can't actually answer. That's a specific subpoena with regard to a specific uh, auction date. You she did. Yes, I know. You mentioned that she, you sent her out, and she sent something back, alleging that this was the person. So she only sent those records, right? She sent was one specific, about three pages worth of the tickets and information regarding one consignment. Yes, that's correct. Right, correct. Okay, and because uh, she's not compliant, but she did respond, and it didn't. You know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't responsive. Let's put it like correct. That. It wasn't totally what we wanted, but she she responded. And I know it costs us to have all this stuff done. So is she willing now to come in? Or are we going to have to subpoena her to, to the board meeting? Well, she's not willing to do anything. She has not responded at all to any of our requests. Uh, the only reason she responded that one is I actually sent an investigator, investigator out. out. To, took, I think, two or three attempts to actually sort of find her. <clears throat> the specific uh, complaint was what, what, what did she do? Originally, the Calcasieu Parish contacted me because she doesn't seem to have any sales tax accounts for any of her businesses, and she still does. So, <coughs> although there's not a sales tax judgment against her, the parish apparently uh, has come to the conclusion that she is in violation of sales tax. So I simply asked her for one auction to see if she was filing her sales tax, that would conclude as far as we were concerned. And she didn't provide that information. She has not provided And what, what her actual is, the sales tax issue, but it's not a violation of Louisiana Auctions license board. Right. right. Well, if she's not it paying it, it's a violation. But you said there was right. no, no record it, of anything. But, but, but she's, she's not providing the information. She doesn't have an account. No, she's, she's not paying. Doesn't provide and she's her. just laughing at it. Yeah, she's well, not paying and laughing at it. I think bringing her in might get her attention. Correct. Enough to I'm not opposing that, Ms. Dow. I was just more so 
stating that if there's no no record of any violations by the license of you know, Louisiana uh, tax revenue or someone stating that would give us more strength to substantiate that she's in violation uh, with the board as well. I'm not filing a violation of the statute failing to have sales tax. I'm asking the board they want full rent because she's not responding to the board's request. But, but you understand what I'm saying? Because the state has not issued any violations to her as of yet. Calcasieu Parish may have alluded to it in a sense that she uh, may... Honestly, don't know that. They no, said, she that. said that she said she said they told you that there wasn't any records of her doing any sale tax. Right. But we haven't gotten any formal state. Um, she hasn't proved that she is. But I'm saying she has to prove that. But she also is innocent until proven guilty if anything is that's, is out there. That's why we would have the hearing. Right. I move that she Wait. be brought before the board. Well, we've already done that. No, no, you told me to go. You want me to go serve? Well, oh. serve the well my just question is, uh, it's obvious she's not paying tax because Calvary Parish has told us that. Why don't we send her a suspension letter of her license until well, she comes in front of the board? You can't do that. Yeah. Here. If you do that, then she's in Yeah, only for public safety uh -huh. can we do that. Right? Oh, okay. All right. Well, so that's what I'm right. saying. We need to get a little bit more information, mm -hmm. especially a violation mm -hmm. letter. No, you just tell me so. The board wants to I'll second it. his motion. But let me let me just ask this. Could we not get Calcasieu Parish to give us something substantial so that we can say this is what they're saying? That way when you come in here, then we are not putting you here presumptuously. I'm not prosecuting her for failure to have sales tax. I'm prosecuting her for failure to respond to a board's opinion, uh, uh, which that, has two different things. But she's going to ask what violation. In subordination to the board. Well, that's not a violation. Yes, it is. Yeah, it yes, is. it is. Yeah. Serious violation. You lose your life yeah, Because of what violation. she does. Yes, sir. Well, on what ground? You have to respond. She ha You have to respond to the board, Freddie, but she's not done But that. if she has no violation, then why would she have to respond? Well, well it is violation. It, it is, is violation. violation. But what grounds are we going after her? Because Calcasieu Parish told us. But they did not give us anything to write. No. Let's go back. I'm not saying this because of her failure to have not have sales tax. I'm saying that, it's, and this is up to the board, if it were a violation, if I had proof that she wasn't paying sales tax, I'd just go ahead and set the That's hearing correct. and I'd even brought it before the board, because this is something I think y'all need to hear. Mm -hmm. However, when I have an auctioneer, and I've had some in the past, uh, who just simply would not respond to an investigatory or information seeking request from the board, the board has the jurisdiction to do that if they feel a licensee there may be grounds for a licensee, uh, you know, basically to, to bring action. We can ask questions. Most of the time we ask questions, there's no issue. We're not looking in just to catch people. We only do this when there is an allegation made. However, in her case, basically, she just doesn't want to talk to us. She doesn't, she's avoiding all authority in this matter. Which she can't do. How long has she been alive? Uh, I'd have to look back. I don't recall right offhand. Um, wasn't that it's been a while. It has been a while. Didn't you make a motion? No one can agree. No one make a motion. I don't call that. I'm going to make. I'm going to. I'm going to set this unless y'all tell me otherwise. It's basically the way it works. Oh. Uh, but is a cost to the board and. Is it, the, is it the next meeting in November you're going to set it for? Yes, sir. Will it be in the afternoon? Yes, sir. It'll be right after the board meeting. Now, this is going to be on a Tuesday, right? Correct. Instead of a Monday. Right. But we're going to have to pay the state attorney general to do this? Right. So we're having a hearing on something that we're not sure she's not doing. Well, we know she's not doing something. Yeah. The problem is whether she's actually violating what we started the investigation on is something else. My point, my motion is strictly deals with this. Irregardless of whether she's committed a violation and owes sales tax or whatever, my point is this. It's insubordination to the board that she is ignoring what she's supposed to be doing when this board asks for something. But it's not insubordination when oh, the yes, board has is. no grounds. That's harassment if it's, if it's anything. If the board has no grounds for so anything. you don't want to do anything. No, sir. Anything? No, 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 sir. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm not saying that. I'm the one who 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 tried to get the young lady, and I've asked Miss Dow. I'm for having her come before the board. I'm just saying our precautions should be a little bit more. We need to have a little bit more grounds so when she comes in here, that there's enough substantiating evidence, at least from Calcasieu Paris or someone else, to say, hey, this is why we bring her in. And now you haven't responded to the board. And I think that we should look at that. 
but just to bring her in on speculations that he say she say it's not it's not warranted. Kyle, you have a question? Yeah, no, I somewhat agree that I'd like to see the substantiation, but I would lend to our attorney. Are you telling us there's enough grounds with her not coming to the board to bring her in? Uh, yes, and, okay. the, the board has the authority to request information or subpoena information from any license. And they got to come. That's no, correct. And if they don't come, then they're in violation. That's correct. So you want information. It's a it's fact not finding information. Right. It's what we're not going to accuse her of not paying her taxes. Not we want to talk to her about it. And if she does not come, then she's in violation. If, if she provides the information before the next meeting. We've, said, we've asked her questions. She will not respond. So this was the only way to get her to respond. And, and I, I see where you're coming from. Right. And having another information, although it would be useful if there was further prosecution, the fact that she's ignoring us is she enough to say, get her here. She won't answer us, so we can't say if but, she has What if she asks the board, where, where's the complaint? Well, she has to answer the question. We have to have a complaint for her. Well, the board, the board has a complaint of that we've asked her to we come do. and she didn't show. Yeah. She yeah. asked her to show up the first time. Her, so that's what I'm just saying. We've asked out, her we to have submit. One before. That's what she's under suspicion about. right now, so Correct. we told her to come and we, she didn't well, come. Well, we told her to answer these questions. I have a will not respond. You yeah, haven't suspended yet, but yeah. we're giving her a chance to come and, and, and so give her a chance to respond clear herself. She's refused. Let me, then I can do it. Okay, go ahead. Look, I'm not in any way in any opposition to the board and what we're designed to do. I'm more so on the cautionary measure that if we had complaints or a formalized complaint, even from Capital Parish, you know, that she uh, may be in violation, then that would give us, you know, a little bit more closure to make sure that when we do pull in here, there are no offsets that she can come back against the board for any type of harassment or anything else like that. All I'm saying is, you know, if she's reluctant at this point that she's legit and coming in, then she may get tall and just say, hey, that's what, I'm coming at the board now. And that's what I'm saying. That, not, I'm not arguing that we shouldn't bring in. I'm just saying we need to stack the decks that gives us the grounds to do so without any repercussion that's coming behind it. And that's all I'm saying. You have a question? I want to say it. I've seen us, this board, bring people in. We have to pay the state attorney general girl, you know, she's the judge, and we have to pay a court reporter. And on more than one occasion, in my opinion, we shouldn't, have done. we shouldn't even done it. It cost this board a fortune. You know, we had to pay all these people for all this, and the board immediately voted in favor of the person that we brought in. You know, so I just want to make sure that before we spend all this money that we're trying to be responsible for that it's not going to be another one of those cases where I, in my opinion it was a waste of the board's money and time the bird in this case she won't respond yeah no i'm just saying i understand that i mean right now i'm far but i'm just hey, all she's got to do the way i understand it all she's got to do once anna has her served the second board right but she's yeah. going to have to through the share but why do we even have to have a hearing? Why can't you just come in front of the board? Oh. We served her. She didn't answer. Uh, if I may think. Well, that's a bother. Go ahead. I'm sorry. If whatever he serves her, Anna's going to serve her with a set of interrogatories. Is that correct? It was a subpoena for a specific. For a specific asking for the, all she's got to do is sit down, write a response to that subpoena, right. and have it notarized. Send it to Anna. She didn't even have to she notarize it. She doesn't have to notarize and then it. She can Anna's got to answer the hearings called off. Correct. Yeah, I don't want to spend it. That's not my question, though. My question is. All we want to do is respond. We can't just we can't question her without the, the state attorney general. No, no, but say she. Okay. Does what she makes her going to answer it now when you send her to the. Well, then. Yeah. Well, then she's going to lose her license. Right. But, okay, so why. I agree. Why can't we question? Or why do we have to get all these people in? Because if we, you can't do anything. Okay. Can't do that's, that's what I wanted. That's, that's, that's what I wanted to know. And let me say this: I we mean, can have an we can have a, a, a meeting with her. If that's what you yeah. want to do. That's one reason I'm bringing this up, and simply see if I can get her here voluntarily. See if you can do behave. that first. See if you can do that first. You wait just in November, try to see if I can do it voluntarily. But I thought we already did that. We tried. We tried. Yeah. I'm just saying if we can do it, it'll save us a whole bunch well, of money. Well, we don't need to send Hal down there to say you're going to need to have him run for re-election. <laughs> <laughs> my district. Okay. Oh, is that your district? Okay, well, I'll give you a request. Yeah, we can Hal, send you. Hal, you have a question? Yeah, well, it, and I, I would like to see maybe as, as uh, this board asks legal counsel to, to find some more substantial uh, information from Capuchin Parish uh, tax assessor <clears> and, and see if if she's in violation. Can you get us something from them well, also? Let me, I mean, let what me would see. that take? This, 
basically, this is an odd situation. Normally what you have is you have them not pay the sales tax, but they have an account. Uh, once it gets to judgment, our statute specifically addresses that issue. But secondly, in this case, all I would have was nothing. The only thing I could get from them saying she has no account, which they have not sent that to me in writing, but I probably can get that in writing. That would be good to have. And then also, but then I have, have to an investigator that, that went there, none of our people. Let me say the sales tax also is very funny. CalCU is actually more cooperative than most parishes. Most parishes wouldn't tell me anything because it's financial privacy issues until it's reduced to a judgment. Uh, but again, I, they may be able to tell me she has no accounts. But they called up. They yeah, called, they well, they did, was it Rufus Frugia or who called no, you? No, it was. It was um, I mean, I, it, they're very, they'll work with you. Yeah, no, there. they, no, this guy. If you have any problems, call yeah. the police, you're here to help. Oh, no, no, no. They're, they're but you're fixing to have a new one, too. No, I hope not. Um, <laughs> well, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, they've no, been no, very, no, 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 I want to tell you, they've been very cooperative yeah. among all, all the parishes with regard to this issue. Yeah. Um, I think, I, I think I got to agree with Freddie on some more information <laughs> where we have on her from the parish would substantiate if we have her here that, that we could show her that you as an attorney have collected and been in communication with their with the with the parish and yeah and i don't have a problem with that if we're going toward uh, any kind of allegations and and charging her with failure to pay sales tax technically that has to be reduced as as uh, you'll tell me greg will tell me is that it has to be reduced to a judgment first and I, that is not going to be reduced to a judgment because I don't think Calcasieu Parish has gone to that extent to right. try to guess how much she should pay them and then have that reduced but to a judgment. you all have some record of the complaint I'm, from the complainant. I, I have, but my problem is is that I'm trying to help Calcasieu Parish. Correct. Because this is not the only business. Well, one second, y'all. Jim has a question. Um, Jim, your question, Freddie. No, ma'am, I'm sorry. Jim, go ahead. Let me ask you this, Anna. We might want to withdraw this motion. It does not have to be heard in November, does it? No. No. I, Let's do this. Let me pull the motion, and I'm going to make a recommendation. So I want to withdraw my motion. Is there a second for this? Who is second? You second? I second it. Okay. I didn't record it because Anna's said we didn't need a motion. Right. Okay. Just for you guys to right. decide. I'm going to make a recommendation over the next 60 days. You try to work with it. And if you can't get her voluntarily to come in here then and just talk to the board or address the board or then we'll answer the questions, answer the questions or whatever, we'll, then we'll talk about it. And we'll get something from the Catholic Sheep Parish sales tax if we can to substantiate this. Well, let me say this. The only reason I bring it to you is solely for the purpose of whether we want to take action as people who ignore our subpoenas. I understand that. To me, that's the biggest problem. To me, yeah, that's the deal, right. but I mean, you got two board members that, that don't like that idea, that's scared we're going to get sued. No, 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 no. I mean, we're, well, we're, not gonna get, we're not going to get sued. And so, this up to the board. I mean, if they sue us, they're going to get thrown out of court, so it don't matter. But, but how that's... And that's not my opinion. Oh, I'm in, I'm in full... Opinion I was no, no, I'm in we full opinion all, that we move forward with this and get her in here. Because she's violating, nope. she's well, violating our, our subpoena already. But I also would like for you to collect the information from the parish if you could. Sure, I mean I don't that's, have a problem. I I, I, we got to have a reason for bringing her. That's, that's my my only concern is that we. But need I don't right now. I don't have any. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I don't believe that I have. I mean, she's shunning us right now. We ought to go get her. I, mean, I think I think well, I mean, you, you just talked against that. No, no, I talked against getting. I want the information. Yeah, well, that's well, what I, I never talked right. against going usually, and getting. Usually, usually when a answer. usually when a sales tax entity calls a state board, exactly. whether it's a school board or who, action is taken immediately. They don't even do. They don't put nothing but right. They just come after your butt. If the sales well, tax entity in Calhoun had that, then they should have filed a complaint with the board stating that, giving us the grounds to pursue correct Ms. Dollars. They had already, we had already conferred, how long has it been, a year or two ago, Correct. with this because there was an out, a complaint when filed against her. When it Complaint filed against her. Uh, Mr. Borland uh, basically moved and corrected me for, and uh, correctly also, uh, that I can't do anything to her for not having a sales tax account. I can only do something to her for having a judgment against her. So County Shu had to take the stand. They said they called me back on the grounds of wanting to know if we had ever done anything about it because 
they were now finding there was another business that she had that did not have a sales tax account. Well, evidently, there's where there's a little bit of smoke. It must be a forest fire burning down there. there. That's well, so. And that's why I want her to clear it up. Well, I want her to say do what you got to do. Okay. Well, wait, to wait, reiterate, wait, I have no problem with his initial. Well, I mean, she, she, she yeah, we, didn't really need, need a we didn't need a motion. That we're just, just do, trying to get what the board. You I, I, I need to get a feel for the board. Right. Right. Was to handle these the situations opinion. where they completely get after, ignore you. We'll just get some more information for the parish also. That's all I'm asking. Okay. Before we end discussion, uh, the public, uh, you have a uh, question for us, Mr. Barnes? Well, yes. I, I know that um, several times it's been referenced that Greg said things need to be reduced to a judgment. Is it appropriate when the state of Louisiana is suing a company for alleged sales tax underpayment that it at least be discussed by this board? If there's a judgment. So if there is no judgment, we don't even bring it up? Uh, is that's my understanding for the board. Okay. What Meaning saying. that it's something that has latitude? Because would the board members like to weigh in on this? Technically, by law, the sales tax and sales tax collection is a financial privacy issue, which is to say sales tax will tell you they are not going to give you any information about it. So if they've sued them, it's, if they've sued them, it's not. It's a lawsuit filed, you, you know about it. Yes, a civil suit. Yeah. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, yeah, the, the Department of Revenue is suing the company for collection of sales taxes. Yeah. Is that something the board feels like it ought to uh, at least be aware of? I think so. You do? I feel so. Okay. I think so. I mean, we should be knowing of all issues that come up. That yeah, some of that taxes. might be. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, right. I mean, no, but I mean, you I'm not saying anything would be done about it because you're correct. Until, the, until there's a judgment or you right. know, okay. because you can't ever tell. You know how tax and interest are. They say people owe stuff that people don't think they owe. And, you know, yeah, they usually negotiate out without a judgment you know, into a stipulation. Let's, let's, let me ask you this: the failure to communicate with this board is reason enough for us to take action. <coughs> Suspending the license and notify her that the board has well, approved a suspension of her license until she communicates. No, I agree. We have to have a hearing. Right? Huh? We, we, we have, have to have, have a hearing, hearing before. But I don't like that you're having a hearing if you don't have to have one. That's right. all I'm saying. But well, I agree. I agree with that. Right. 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 Looks like but since she won't communicate, yeah, we got to say, you ain't got no license. But we're going to have to have so. something in writing and all that to well, bring her in. Well, I'll, I'll wait. The, I'll, I'll table it for November and we'll put it on your chill. January. You're going to ask her again to respond. Yes. But if she doesn't respond by November, she we can. If she doesn't respond by November, then we'll set a hearing. Yeah, right. right. we'll just, just be go aware forward. that we've been working with her and is having this problem for years now. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, well, I would like to have done it for the end of the year so I could take action. She tries to remit. Okay, let's move on. I know. I see it. Okay, everybody. If you want to talk, talk to the whole board. Now, with regard, I'm still on my. Oh, okay. You have another question. So in theory, if she shows up at the next meeting and she says, look, if they sue me over this, I'm going to fight it, then where does the board stand? Well, no, I mean, that's why I brought up the question earlier about if someone has fought it and there is litigation, does the board even want to be aware of it? And Mr. Bordelon said that they did, so at least... I, mean, I do, yeah. Okay. I want to know. Yeah, and I, I usually try to check to see if someone has, but obviously I can't check all the states, all the, excuse me, all the parishes and all the states. But however, with regard to her, if she shows up and she has a sales tax account, then that's all I need to know, to be honest with you. But if well, she does and don't have any records of any sales. Then I'm assuming that Calcasieu Parish has a good cause of action against her for failure to pay sales tax. And she did admit at least on but one she occasion she, that yeah. she's running an auction. Yeah, correct. She and has the information concerning so. that. I mean, I know we have it with that, but we don't have, you know, and I'm agreeing with the board. I'm not, I'm just saying, if County Shoe brought it to our attention, they should have been the one to initiate a complaint so that this board can initiate what they need to do. Okay. Um, ready to move on? Yes. Let, me, let me go on to, real quick, to finish the attorney's report. Mm -hmm. That's really all we have as far as that I can talk about with the board now. Uh, you'll see, I'll make a short reference to this, I'm not going to say anything more, that you see the, um, as we discovered, are you pinning litigation? Um, you have Freddie Phillips. Uh, no. So, no, this is the one that's been dismissed. So we're going to take it off. We're going to bring it in. This case is over. Uh, on the minutes of the last, last meeting. meeting. Oh, yeah. <coughs> on the agenda today, it's not on there. It's, it's not on there. there. Okay. It's on the ballot. It's, 
It's actually Robert Burns versus Sandy, Robert Burns versus Anna. You're not on there. Oh, no, I'm not on there. That's how I was showing her. That's, That's the minutes from the last meeting. Oh, okay. Okay, that was. But if you look on the back of today's agenda, Friday's been removed because the case okay. has been gotcha. Okay. And so then we just, just have the two uh, the case uh, with Sandy that Robert Burns filed and the case with me that Robert Burns filed. The Attorney General's office uh, has picked up the defense on uh, Sandy's case. So those two cases are ongoing. Okay. Okay. Do we, um, the motion to approve the attorney's report. I'd like to motion. Do you have a second? Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, opposed? Aye. Uh, Okay, number four on the agenda, hiring of third party attorney. I had asked yeah. this to be put on the agenda, I think, or if somebody else, yes. Um, this had to do with uh, any actions being taken with regard to Mr. Burns or Mr. Phillips um, because I have been sued now by both of them. Uh, I feel it would be a conflict of interest. Yeah, I've been sued by. Excuse me. Well, she said something. She said she had been sued by both of them. Yes. You shouldn't even remember the last thing you filed was a motion to amend to add me to the lawsuit. So, okay. thank you. you know, theoretically, that was dismissed. Uh, oh, it has been dismissed. But if I had to take any action against either one of these two licensees, I could not do so. It, it would get conflict of interest. So, I just need some guidance from the board with regard as to whether you wish to retain a, a, an attorney solely for the purpose of that, if that should become an issue. And also, we had talked about uh, if you wanted to pursue any act, other actions against uh, uh, either one of them, that would be up to the board. But I could not handle that because of the litigation. So do we need a motion to... Just you a question. We, I, I, need to have a motion. I need a motion to see if we can hire a... If... Does everybody understand? Does anybody well, need to clear it up? Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, 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 nothing. Don't um, discuss it yet. No, we're okay. not. I'm just saying because I mean I'm more of the same both regulars. I know what you know Ms. Dow was saying, right. but it wasn't as clear as it should have been to I guess everybody sitting here. Maybe I'm the only one and Mr. Borland may have not gotten the gist of what she okay, was saying. Don't discuss it. That's what I'm gonna That's do. What I'm, saying. I'm gonna attempt to clarify it for you if they give me ten seconds. Okay. All right. So we need to see we have a motion if there's any lawsuits come up between Mr. Barnes and Mr. Phillips. Anna cannot handle it. We'd have to get another attorney. That's what she's asking for. No, or, or disciplinary actions. Right, or disciplinary actions. Correct. That's what I thought was disciplinary actions. Right. Right. I'll make a motion. I need a second. Do I I'll second. second. Discussion. Now you can discuss it. Go ahead, Mr. Sims. Well, somebody from the Attorney General's office represent us and we got to hire an open field attorney. No, you'd have to get a third-party attorney. If it's a disciplinary action, the Attorney General's office is actually your hearing officer slash hearing representative, so that they could not, they, they could not be both. They could not do both. Right. So it, we would definitely have to have a third party on hand. And I'm not suggesting either or. I'm just simply making the board aware of my situation, okay. and, and making it clear that should something happen, that it should be turned over to a third party. Let uh, me. I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, the, the question was money. I mean, this would be the hiring of a third party. That's correct. Person. If necessary. And hourly rates run? It would. If I'm presently being paid $150 an hour, which is below the Attorney General max. Um, theoretically, if we hired somebody, they would have to take the job at that same rate. So you would not actually be out any more money than I was doing. Yeah. No, I'll go with I'm going to go with a substitute motion in, 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 in concerning this. I think you would have to My yourself. question is, uh, right. would not a liability, our insurance liability no, provide us counsel? You can. I know it does for me. If the board is sued, it does provide counsel as it has But it's family. not the board being sued. If the no. board, no, this is if the board wants to take action. Correct. And, oh. and then 971 or any other. Uh, statutes that relate to board members setting in their capacity would have to kick in. Any other questions? I just have a question on the lawsuits in general uh, while, we, while we're talking about them. If I was sued by somebody 
basketball on this board. Would you represent me as uh, this council, or do I have to go hire? If it's if it's if it no, you would uh, you don't have to. you do not have to hire the board. Can hire can use me if it's a suit that does not have any damages attached to it. I have a suit that has damages attached to it. The attorney general's office. We pay insurance uh, on a monthly basis no, for that reason. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? All right. Our discussion. Have Wait, I got one more. Are you being sued as the attorney for the board or personally? On um, as the attorney for the board. Oh, um, what's that? What's that? Then it seems like our insurance ought to pay it. Then. It doesn't. It doesn't pay for me. Hmm. Okay, so I've had a. And, but our insurance pays for Sam. Right? Yes. Okay. He's an employee. I'm a contract counsel. All right. So that was the ruling which I disagreed with, but that was another day. Have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Well, I can't. I mean, if it's dealing with me, I have no say so whatsoever. You were accused. Oh, well, I mean, apparently that's what I was told, but at the same time, if we're going to put any issues out there that the board has to make, because it doesn't say that. It says third party. So, in specific, uh, specifically, it wasn't naming me or anyone else in this clarification. And that's where the board should have been in error, because if it's a generalized statement, if it's dealing with in general, and then that's why I asked for clarification. Here it's too vague. You know, okay. So, it, so that's it, why let, I let me make the statement first. Because at the end of the day, if it was going to deal with myself and Mr. Burns in here, then hey, guess what? Then it should have been uh, uh, brought before the board in a different venue, and especially naming me uh, prior to any discussions. Mr. Party, the only reason that would be that would have to hire a third party attorney because for you and Mr. Burns because you are the only two people suing. But this is not what it says, Mr. Dynacamp. This is not what it says. It says hiring a third party, which should have been specifically geared toward whatever the hire would be. And that's the point I was making from the offset. I'll amend my motion to say that we're hiring a third party to represent on behalf of counsel or counsel to represent us in the lawsuit with a licensee do I need the name? Should I say the name? name? Well, we can't. Well, it's not if anybody lawsuits. who files a suit against me, just put anybody. it that yeah. There you go. Perfect. And, and, and anyone that's somebody one. Else anyone that's that files a suit against our legal counsel. And that's why I wanted to substitute motion in. And I could have made the substitute, and I was told. No, I'll go ahead and amend my motion. Correct. Correct. He amended it. Now I need a second on that. You got it. Okay, I, I got second. one more. Why Discussion. can't you represent yourself? You're an attorney. I am representing myself. Oh. They're suing me, though. So, Mr. Burns is suing him as Mr. Phillips right. is suing him in the past. I have a conflict of interest now if I turned around uh -huh. and represented you against them. Okay. okay. And mm -hmm. that's what the third point is. So the that's why motion's I need the third been amended, seconded. Um, any other discussion well, or questions? Yeah. That's why I said I had to substitute motion to that. Because it's still, based on the way it's written on this agenda, I'm allowed to make a substitute motion regardless of whether or not he amended that into there or not. The discussion is hiring a third party attorney, not just with any person within this, but it should be inclusive of all parties that are involved in any type of suits. That and was that's his amended motion. No, he just said to Mr. Phillips and Mr. Burns. No, 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 he just amended his motion mm -hmm. for us. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Yeah, Bye. I have it to hire counsel to handle disciplinary matters by, uh, or again, so I have to work exactly on the wording, against anyone, anyone who is suing our general counsel. That's, or, that's, or the board. Correct? To no, include the board no, as well? No, just, it's just my conflict. Just, yeah, well, I know it's your conflict of interest, but if the Attorney General hires someone that we feel that is not, yeah. you, this is what I'm saying, because we have Attorney General's not going to hire the, the board would. The board will, but I'm just saying, my, we recommend our own counsel, and then if the board complies with the, the rate that you're getting, and we bring our own counsel in, then that should be sufficient, correct? Well, that's if they decide and need to hire another counsel. Correct. That that's would be the case. If I have a conflict, that's what this motion is saying. But if it's a conflict with me and board members. With anyone. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why I said he me and board it. members. Then I would have to choose whether or not, because of the the, the conflicts of interest that I may have or with, with the board, it would be advisable that I seek outside counsel. Okay, so you, so I'm saying, I'm taking one point at a time. Exactly. The point at a time is this one right here. Right, That's right. a totally That's a separate totally point. It has nothing to do with my motion. My motion your, is this behalf. Your motion behalf. stands. Your second stands. But we're talking about hiring third-party attorneys. So whatever reason, third-party attorneys. And my motion is third-party attorney 
for Mrs. Dow's position when she is in litigation. Exactly. By, by I, no, I understand what you're saying. That's, that's, that's all I want to vote That's what his motion is. That's what his motion is. I see you, Robert. Here's the principle. What I'm saying, and I have a right to state this, that if that was the case, then that's what should the agenda had specified. What? You see what I'm saying? Because the way the agenda is written right now, okay, it doesn't specify it. anything. Okay, but everybody else is clear we're, we're on making this. It okay, Freddie, everybody's clear on the motion. Robert, before we vote, you had a question. No, I'm asking for a request of a reread of exactly what this motion is. You want to I know, I know, she read it once. I I'm take very simple notes. I'll have to go back on the digital recorder to get the exact thing. But basically, it's going to to hire counsel to handle disciplinary matters from license for licensees that are suing our general counsel. That's, that's, that's it. it. Our, our, that's that's it. our third party. Higher counsel. third party. Yeah, that's right. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Okay, and that's your second. Okay. All for the question. Any other discussion? All right. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Opposed? Aye. Okay. Number five, meeting rules. Everybody has a copy of the rules. You know, Freddie. we did, but Freddie, one second, please. But here's the thing, we, we got it. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Say, state your case. I don't have a case. I was just trying to like get it out before you interrupted me. Does everybody have a copy of the meeting rules that were attached to the agenda? Everybody received that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yes, these are. Uh, I was asked to prepare. Uh, some meeting rules uh, for management, especially now that we're in the new location. Um, basically, uh, I can go through them if you like, one by one, or you can just read them. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Uh, we're allowed to do so by, you'll see it down at the bottom, 4223B, which is the Open Meetings Act, which provides for uh, rules with regard to taping, videotaping, or otherwise. Uh, and also 373112, which allows this board to run any hearing or meeting and set rules for those. Um, so uh, read through them, be glad to answer them if you have any questions. Well, I, I do. Uh, one is, shouldn't this board accommodate any, uh, any meetings according to state requirements? And if the board room is not accommodational, what are we going to do to make it accommodational? It, is, it, it does. It's it's, it complies with all ADA requirements. And, and, and ADA in reference to space wise, because well, I mean, accommodational. Is what you're well, talking. right now we have a, a serious egress problem in here, and I mean I don't know if that's uh, up to code as far as the IPC load and, and rating of this building. Yes. I mean I would There's, like to see that information. I'd have to trust the experts on that one, but as I well, understand it, I don't know. the state did approve it. Well, that I mean, it may be on the list as an office, but not a meeting facility. It's by the state fire what marshal. rule is that that you were talking about, Freddie? Well, I mean, in accommodation, it says right here, you know, you can't put... What number? I'm sorry. Well, I was just in generality. Yeah, it's not on here. Yeah. Right. Yeah, in accommodation okay. for the space. And, and, and okay. the right now, we're going to do the um, rules, the board and rules. Do you have well, I mean, there's just certain ones on here. I wonder why we have them on here, especially. Which one? Which one? The, those videotapes must do so while seated. Well, right now this board doesn't afford the the shots of anybody, and that's what I just did. Drew on the back here. Maybe we need to turn this table this way, put chairs on the back, make a recommendation so that that way the person who is video can video everyone that's seated at the table. Because right now you can't. You have the back, and that's inappropriate. And that's, Unprofessional. I think it's unprofessional. I think it's unprofessional. What are you doing? But I like got you right. I'm not going to take it. I understand it, but I'm just saying if we're going to do so, let's, let's make accommodations. And my, that's why I drew the table here to do so in turning the, the room around and putting chairs here and one more chair. Second, let the board go first, Mr. Barnes, then I'll acknowledge the public 
Greg, you have a question? I, have, I want to make a motion, which we're supposed to before discussion. Right. Well, I want to make a motion that we accept these rules. Well, how are you going to make a motion when this is I just did. discussion? You just did. No, it's not. It's you well, that's what you just said. After the motion, but, but the chairperson, and Ms. Dow just said if there's any discussion, she would answer. That's what she said. Yeah. To this well, we're going to get to discussion. We'll mm -hmm. answer it. Mm -hmm. So, so I made the motion that we accept it. I need a second. I'll I'll and a second. Now we can discuss it. All right, let's discuss it. Anybody else have it? We heard Friday's discussion already. Anybody else on the board have a question or anything? Mr. Burns, you have a question about the meeting rules? Yes. Well, first of all, I think when you have something that affects the public like that, out of common courtesy, it would behoove the board to provide the audience members as well Please with copies second. of that. Secondly, I think it's inappropriate for board members to make remarks about lack of professionalism when I am totally obeying the law. I have repeatedly given the statute that gives me the right to do this. I realize there are people that are uncomfortable with it. It does not alter the fact that I have that right. I, I recognize Mr. James said he, Mr. Sims said he knew I had that right, but the quotes of unprofessionalism are inappropriate. They should not have been made. There was a echo of support for that sentiment from another board member. I take strong exception to that. I am only exercising my right and I do not ap appreciate having been referred to as unprofessional in exercising that right. Now, secondly, there are some things on here. I went outside into the parking lot. In fact, Mr. Howell drove up as I was speaking with him. And I covered some of the things on here. I believe the board's going to have some problems with him, but if you want to approve them, that's your prerogative, particularly the one that says you must stay seated. I consulted a city attorney, and he said, provided you do not interrupt the decorum, you cannot mandate that someone has to be seated. You're going to tell someone who may have a back ailment that they must be seated? So, and as far as the, I mean, it's very obvious that you all do not want me videotaping the meetings. You've made that abundantly clear. If you want to get nitpicky down to the two cents of electricity that I use, I'll be happy to give you two cents. You know, but I think this is not the way to show good relations to the public, particularly calling them unprofessional. I realize people make remarks without giving a lot of thought, but they are not appreciated, period. Now I'm done. And number nine. Thank you, Ms. Burns. Do you have another question? Yes, on number nine. All attending the meeting are subject to be searched. On, on what grounds? If you're in here. On, on what grounds? Homeland Security Act. On what grounds? Homeland Security Act. You are subject to search but inside you got to have grounds for subject to search. One second. Just because I walk in this building doesn't mean that I'm in violation of anything. Are you carrying without, a weapon? Without proper call. Are you carrying a weapon? Well, a lot of people in here are carrying weapons. I'm not. Why are you, are you not? carrying a weapon right well, now? Well, I'm not going to answer that question. The point I'm making is this. I'm not going to answer that question. The point is this. No, I need to know if you're no. carrying a weapon. No, you, you don't need to know anything. You just asked me on what grounds are you going to search me? I walk in here like everybody else. So what grounds are you going to search me? If you're going to ask me, you need to ask every other board member here. Are they carrying weapons? Not specifically me. You were just the one bringing it up. But I, I, because I have a problem with one on the grounds of being searched, especially without a probable cause in there. I mean, a lot of people said a lot of things in here. I feel they should be searched. But I don't open my mouth and say anything. Okay. Let's keep it to the thing. But I mean, that's the point. But you, you want to make a statement. I see you, Robert. And you, you put this out here as though we have a bunch of minutes of society in here, and we're all professional, okay, law-abiding citizens. No I want a background check before they brought me on this board. So why would I need to subject right. myself to search? Calm down, please. I, mean, I got a problem with this. Please lower your voice and calm down, okay? I'm asking you nicely, please. Try to keep it under control. Here. Okay, so I understand you have a problem with number nine. Anybody else on? Can you have, you have a weapon question? in a public meeting building? No. No. Even if you're licensed. Well. Every state building that I'm aware of. You can't have they, they can, no, they have to post it. They have to post it that you are subject to search. But if you go uh, to most public buildings, you will see that. And we're not going to do this without posting that notice to yeah. the people who want it. All right, Robert, you have another question? Uh, I'm, I'm going to take it a step further. 
I'm going to ask for a formal apology or retraction of the remarks that got made about me earlier. It has repeatedly been done in this boardroom. I have said I'm not going to tolerate it, and yet every meeting I come to, I'm subjected to something like that. So I'm asking right now, the two members are here, they know who they are. Do you stand by your statement? Okay. Statement I made is yeah, I don't like answer. being, you know. No, he said unprofessional and you backed it up. Okay, fine. Now, if you want to say you don't like being videoed, I don't have a problem with that. I have no problem with that. That's but if you're going I don't like being videoed. And so that's all, you're, that's all you want to say? Yeah. That you're not saying I'm being unprofessional? No, I didn't say I'm okay. not all right. being unprofessional. Okay, I appreciate I that. I say it looks to me like you just want to Excuse to sue. Okay, let's stick to the. Well, that leaves Did us down to one. The, the, Robert, I'm sorry if I call you young professional. Thank I'm sorry that, about that, but I do take offense of you taping me. I that's no problem. That. I understand that. And you you, you have okay. that prerogative. But I, do, I want to say one last thing. One last thing. Cause yes, I'm absolutely. When you sign up to be a volunteer on this board, like it or not, this is a public meeting. You know, Robert, you never had this problem on this board. You got thrown hey, that's, off. That's, hey, look, Mr. Sims, man, you, you, you had turned around and said you were apologizing, and then you turned right around and attacking. Hey, I didn't be attacking. I'm telling, telling facts. Well, you say it's a problem. Okay. What is a problem with me Robert, exercising my... Please. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Well, I want to know what the problem is. I know, I know. I'm just going to say okay. we have time to talk, and please, could you make your point? Yes, my point is, when I am not... Can you tell me if I'm doing anything illegal? Well, hold on. Since this is the reason I'm here, okay? Every, I wasn't here before all this started, okay? There's a reason. If any one of these board members feels uncomfortable because they believe that someone in here is causing a hostile environment, okay? And they have that right. I would be worried too because it happens all the time. You see board meetings on TV all the time where they pull weapons out and they start shooting people. Oh, I got no problem. And y'all, you, okay. you, you can search well, me listen. anytime you want. I don't care. I don't have a weapon and I would never do anything like that. But I am asking, you know, about these remarks. Have I engaged myself in an unprofessional manner in exercising my legal well, listen, right? Maybe by the way you, you make people feel uncomfortable. That's the way they perceive it, that you make them feel uncomfortable. I'm here, I mean, I'm here for security reasons only. But I understand. I'm just telling you what I see. Let me I understand. But my question is, have I done anything that has posed a security threat? Because, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, and y'all can they, you can try to change the statute. Good. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, and Officer Landry. Well, it's the same thing. Are you finished, Mr. Barnes, with your comments? Well, other than the last, the last part was that. You know, this board is welcome to try to change the public meetings laws. I can guarantee you, you can get anywhere. You talk about raising the ire of suspicion that says, oh, we're not going to allow these things to be taped. We're not going to allow them to be audio broadcasting.